Okay, beautiful guy. So basically, yeah, it's working now. It's much better. All right, because it wasn't working a while ago. It was dropping, guys. That's what happened. I couldn't believe the video was like on and off, on and off. But it started to work better now. So we're going to be doing it now. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, it should be working better now, to be honest with you. I don't know what went wrong. But I'm going to do the CMOS now, guys. I want to show you exactly how to do the CMOS. Because honestly, the CMOS is something where it's very healthy. And I want to show you how you can do the CMOS. This is going to be part two. Um, yeah, 100% part two. All right. Now, let's go for it. All right. And we are ready. Yes. We are ready now. I think it's a little bit much better now. Because what happened... I was trying to get it on the live a while ago and it went. I don't know what happened. It's just cut, but it's back. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you exactly how to do make the sea mask. And this is going to be making part two of the video because I did part one yesterday showing you how to prepare the sea mask. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to jump straight into it and I'm going to show you exactly how to make your sea mask at home. All right, we may not have a lot of people watching, but I still want to do the video because I don't want to keep the CMOS too long. All right, so if you notice, oh, wow, still cold. All right, if you notice the difference of the CMOS, you can see this is the green CMOS. A lot of people were saying they never see the green one and they never know that you have color in CMOS. Yes, you have the gold, you have the gold one. You have the a green one, and I think you got the purple one. I got a purple one also. So I will show you how to make both three of the sea moss, which I have. I have two more, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make the sea moss. So basically, as I said yesterday, I wash them, and I prepare them, get them ready. And this is how they look now. When I sort them overnight into some water in my fridge, um, I use not the top water, I use buckle water for it, alright? So I'm going to show you exactly now how to prepare your sea moss. And as I said, the sea moss has got a lot of health benefit, which you can use at home. I'm not going to be going into it. If you need information, it will be in the description box of my video, okay? Let's jump into it. So i got an extra bowl right here, and I'm going to give it a little extra more wash. So I'm going to remove it from this water. All right, and if you notice, I got some lemon, which I was using. Because sea moss is from the sea. You know, I know that. And it's very, very strong with a lot of salt. And it's a little bit raw and all that stuff there. So you have to wash it very, very good, all right? So I will be using some bottled water. All right, so here it is again. I'm going to give it one more second wash. All right, now this is how the sea moss look. I'm going to give it one more wash because, you know what I mean? As I say, you have to know how to do this one. You have to leave it overnight in your fridge and, you know what I mean, you can do it the next day. All right, let's jump into this now. All right, so I'm going to be using some more bottle of water. And if you leave it for one more day in your fridge, trust me, it's going to feel more different, but I'm going to be doing it today. That's the guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm using some bottle water. It's much better to wash it, all right? Lovely. You don't have to use lime. You can use lemon because, you know, as I say, you can use... Lime or lemon, which one I want to use. I got some more lime juice. I'm going to put it on it. Again, squeeze out some more lime. And it, all right. So as I say, you don't have to use lime. You can use lemon and soak it, all right? So as I can see, here it is. So you want to make sure you wash it off good again. So I'm giving it one more wash. One more good wash. Trust me. And this is so good for you guys. Honestly. All right.
And as you can feel that slimy, that, that you know what I mean, that beautiful. Oh, you, you have to do it yourself, guys. Trust me. <laughs> me, me explaining it to you is not going to be working. You have to do it yourself, all right? 100%. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to drain it. All right. Wow, feel that, man. That's the sea moss right there. It's amazing. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from this. I'm going to run it through my strainer. Everyone do their sea moss different, but you know what I mean. Some people even all run it through. There, some people all cook it for a few minutes, but we're not doing that today. We are doing it this way. All right, let's get some of that liquid off of it. All right, now, so this is what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be using my blender right here. All right. So you wanna get the sea moss. All right, and put it straight into your blender like this. Okay. All right, so if you have a, a, a bigger blender, it's even much better. My one is a small one, so still good, because it's gonna chop it up the way I want it. All right, then what we're gonna do, you're not gonna put in a lot of water, you're just gonna put a little bit of a water on it. Okay, don't put too much water. All right, that's gonna put roughly about quarter cups of water. We're gonna be watching it while we're blending it, all right? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna blend it. All right, yeah, let's blend this. As I can see for yourself, that's the way it looks. So you can, because you don't want it to be like. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add some more liquid to it. All right, so add some liquid to it now. And just watch what, because you don't want it to be too runny, like you're making, runny like water. Because I saw a lot of people, I know when they put it in the fridge, it will get, but you don't wanna make it too runny and water. I know when you go in the fridge, it's gonna be like, you know what I mean, get to where you want it, but. All right. Wow, that is amazing. So we're just gonna add a little bit more water. All right, yeah. Because my blender is a small blender. Alright, my blender is very small. But. Because I want to blend everything together. I don't want to separate it up. I want to just blend. Oh my god, smell that man. That is amazing. So we're going to add some more water. So, yeah, that's looking good. So, 
So I'm gonna use rough about. You only see how I want it to look when I finish with it, guys. All right, add some more water to it. Cause my my blender is so tiny. <laughs> But it's fine still because my blender is so small. All right, let's see. All right. But as I can see, all right, we're going to add some more water. I'm using buckle water, which is very good, all right? See this? Beautiful. All right. So you see how that look nice? All right. But when you make it runny, it will set in the fridge. But I just want it. But this is good, man. I like this. Perfect. But what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some more liquid to it. All right. Yeah, let's add some more water. All right, but this this looking good, as you can see for yourself. That looking fantastic and an amazing, 100%. But my blender is a little bit small, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take out a little bit because of my blender is a little bit too small. But it's all good. It's blend. I love the way it blend. All right. And trust me, this is so perfect. All right. Let's add a little bit more water. You want it to a little bit runny, but not too runny like, you know what I mean? You just want it to be really perfect. All right. But well, I will show you exactly how it look when I finish with it, all right? So if you notice the difference with it, look at that. Okay. But my blender is a small blender. Wow. That's looking good. But I still, I think I would just had a little bit of water to it. You might have said, why may I add so much water to it? But is, it, is, it, is, is that running what I'm looking for? I need. I don't need that kind of, I need that perfect running, guys. Trust me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when you're doing your one, if you have a bigger blender, it's much better. But my one is small and I'm trying to put everything in one. So that's what happened. But you don't have to worry yourself. You will see when I finish with it. it now we got more over here we can blend up but this is it now look at this now all right you see all right this is the the running which i'm looking for all right look at this all right you see this look at that so this is what i'm looking for guys all right that is beautiful and nice so 
this is the kind of running what you are looking for if you're going to make year one at home all right any one you're going to make this is the kind of texture what you are looking for so that texture is so perfect now you have to have a nice container to put this into i got a nice one i got this one first so look at this all right all right this is what you're looking for all right and that is just so perfect 100 percent. all right so when you're gonna make your one this is what you want to see all right so when you put it into your fridge you will see the different all right in 24 hours but this is what you want to see with your sea moss when you make it all right do not like get it lumpy lumpy up on you know what i mean you want it smooth nice like this that texture is amazing that's so beautiful and the only thing with the sea moss this is another thing where you can do with the sea moss which i was telling you guys about when you do a thing like this with it let's put this one side yeah you can use it on your skin like this on your face like a sea moss like a moss all right you see this right here and your giant all of them places where are pain were pain in you rub it right there guys trust me anyway on your skin you can rub it on it like this when you go into the bath go in the bath and rub it up on your skin all over your body like this like a lotion and trust me you will feel that different in your skin when you use the sea mask guarantee a million percent guys it is amazing all right now what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna show you exactly how you can make a beautiful smoothie and just put some sea mask in it and then you will feel the different rub some on your face your skin everywhere but that texture is amazing i love the texture of that and that's what i was looking for all right, so we're going to make a smoothie from it. But if you want to get the sea moss, the best place to go is Ocean Moss, that code at UK. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and they're also on YouTube. All right, you can get it on my website, chefricotta.co.uk, at UK, which is a lot of people know about my website. You can go over and get the sea moss over there also. All right, but as you can see, the texture, that is so perfect, guys. Look at that. Fantastic and an amazing. This you can use it in anything we want to do at home all right if you're making smoothie if you're making um juice whatever you're making at home just get a nice lovely portion and put it inside of it and you will see exactly what i'm talking about all right now what we're going to do we're going to make a nice lovely smoothie and i'm going to show you how to make a smoothie from it all right Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to make that fantastic smoothie at home. And you're going to be happy, guys. Trust me. Green sea moss is amazing. Let's put this one side and this is let's rinse out this one with some hot water all right here it is all right now eat good tv good morning thank you so much for coming on the show all right now what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you exactly how you can make a smoothie at home and just use some sea moss in it and trust me you're gonna love it All right, so we're gonna get this is what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna show you something look at this get some frozen mango from your freezer all right frozen mango all right and once you get your frozen mango get a finger of ripe banana like this and put it straight inside of it okay don't worry yourself about the frozen mango it's, it's the best you can ever do at home all right yeah so once you do that then 
grab yourself some sea moss, some of the green sea moss. All right. And put it inside of it like this. Rough about two tablespoon. All right. Of the green sea moss. Look at that. Fantastic. When you put this in the fridge, it's going to set the way you want it. And you're going to love it. A million percent. All right. Let's put a teaspoon of honey. Organic honey inside of it. All right. Yeah. Organic honey. And that's good to go. A little bit of water. All right. And now... We're going to blend this up, all right? And make a smoothie from this. This is awesome. All right. Look at this. All right. That is beautiful. Trust me, that is just like something totally you definitely want to try at home. All right. Any little thing you're going to do at home, trust me. Yeah. Just get this and use it, guys. 100%. All right. And you will see exactly. What Chef Ricardo talking about? Here it is, the green sea moss gel. And you can get it on Ocean Moss website or Chef Ricardo website, that quarter UK. Go over and get yourself some of this lovely sea moss. You can use it on your skin. You can use it anywhere on your face, wherever you want to use it on. But if you're allergic to it, that's where the problem is going to come. So if you're not allergic to it, trust me, guarantee a million percent, you will see exactly but look at that guys that is fantastic a quick sea moss smoothie this you can last put it in your fridge and that can last for the week all right everything we're doing you can make a sea moss tea you can make a um you can make smoothie whatever you want to make at home this is it right here and trust me this is awesome guys a million percent as you can see for yourself this is how it look look at that and that's the texture you want to get, all right? So, just because my blender is smooth, small, I don't want to put too much water in it and then, you know what I mean? So, I just have to take my time. But this is perfect. When you put it in the fridge, it's going to be set. And you guys are going to love the way it's set and the way it look. But this texture is so perfect as you can see it for yourself. Use it on your face, whatever you want to do with it at home. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Have a lovely evening. And I will catch you with part two with another video, guys. That is amazing. The flavor, the texture, everything is just so beautiful to use. But please do your search and see if you're allergic to sea moss, all right? Because you don't know. All right? And as I say, you can get it to buy on oceanmoss.co.uk or you can check them out on Instagram or their YouTube channel. Or you can go to my website, chefrecorder.co.uk and get yourself some green sea moss or the gold one. Or one of the first to see. I think I got three of these. Yeah. All right. So basically, this is a purple one. I will show you how to do the purple one. Okay. Purple sea moss. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the purple sea moss. Also, I have the gold one because most people use to the gold one. This one. I will show you how to do this one also. So. Click the notification bell and subscribe to the YouTube channel and keep update with Chef Ricardo. I'm going to show you exactly how to do all of these sea masks one by one. So when this one finish, I'm going to be doing another potion. All right. And as I say, you can rub it on your face, your hand, your skin. And trust me, organic sea mask is the best in the world. And this is where you can get it. Ocean mask, that UK. All right. Organic sea mask, you can't go wrong. Or you can go to my website, chefrecorder.co.uk and get yourself some sea moss and make yourself some sea moss at home and use it on a daily basis. This will help to build your immune system. And you know what I mean? This can cleanse your immune system. It's got a lot of health benefit towards it. All right? Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time with more video. All right?
This is from Chef Ricardo, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.